Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to Starbound. My name is Sanforia. We are here looking like a high-vis spaceman. Uh, we've gotten through the Ericus crystal mine. I'm not too sure how you pronounce that, but that's how I'm going to say it. And we found this guy down here. And, uh, yeah. An Echius horror. Ooh. And uh, we are going to try, or I'm going to try anyway, and turn these things on. Because I'm assuming that is what we need to do. Without getting hit by his little tentacles. Okay, so we have turned these on. What's this? Conventional weapons have an estimated 0% chance of damaging it. We've got to devise another means. Okay. So, it looks like we need to turn these on. Oh no, he's really fast. We've got to turn them on. And then uh, turning them all on turns on the thing at the bottom. And then we can use that to actually shoot him. Is, he, is this just going to... I'm going to have to take the damage. Okay, so he does eventually stop. <laughs> he also spawns in guys. Oh, goodness gracious. Where are they going to go? Right, okay. And he's got a friend down here that really would like to eat me. Ah, go away! So the longer we leave it after the tentacles, yeah, he's just going to he's just going to make more tentacles and spawn in more guys. So we want to be quick, really. Take one for the team. We did it! You destroyed the monster. It was trapped inside. I was trapped inside it. It would have mutated me. Oh goodness! Well, it's fine. I did it! Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> now that was a lot easier than I remember it being. Maybe just because I've done it before. Well done. Okay, so we got the Erica's horror. There is enough Ericus here to fully repair the ship. Oh, awesome. Yeah, look, there's the digger. So we get a diamond. We get a callus hearth thacker dagger. We get some capture pods. We get a tech card. And we get um, a bit for a codex that we'll read later. Uh, you obtained a capture pod. A monster can be captured in this if their health is low enough. Capture pods are kind of like a Pokemon thing. Um, you lower a creature's health and then you can capture it in a capture pod and then once you capture it it becomes tame and you can use it and it will fight for you some of them have different abilities i think and stuffs it's pretty cool okay ekia's crystal obtained whoop, whoop. go digger go digger go go digger go digger go you come with me sir let's go yay which should hopefully mean now that they will help us repair our ship, which would be very cool. There we go. So we need to go and talk to Captain... What is his name? Like, Captain Penguin or something? <laughs> Penguin Pete, that's it. Perfect. These will do the job. I'll go ahead and fix your ship right now. <gasps> look at him going! Oh, we had a broken one, look. That's it. Oh, oh. Well, they fixed it. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. So, we need to go ahead and open this reward box that we have. We get a tech card, which is awesome. I do actually want to go ahead while we are here and sell the little um, duplicate items that we've got just to make a few pixels. Head here. So, we got two of these. I didn't think they would be worth much. We got another one of those. So it's not a lot of money, but you know, it's something we'll actually sell some of this food while we're here because um, we've got all those potatoes back at home and I'm, I don't want these to go off. I might as well sell them and get ourselves some pixels. So what we will do is we will head back to the ship and see what our ship looks like now. Now it's all fixed. Well, it looks exactly the same, except this is not working. Erica's fuel for your FTL drive can be mined from moons. It should be noted that since Earth's destruction, all moon scan have delivered strange, unpleasant, and indecipherable readings. 
So here is where we put our fuel in. We don't have any at the moment, and this is the captain's chair. So this shows you where we are. We are on the Pleion swarm, uh, and then we can zoom in on the galaxy, on the planet. This we are here on number four, and this is a gas giant that we can't land on. But this is where we are. So just an overview of what this tells you. Um, it tells you basically what the planet's like. So. Beam site is located in a tranquil area of great biodiversity. There are great resources that you can use. It's a lush and pleasant land, so it'll tell you if it's a ocean planet or if it's like a jungle planet or a desert. It'll tell you that here. It tells you the threat level. This one is low. Geological an an analysis <laughs> tells you what kind of materials you can find in the uh, planet's kind of like rock and stuff. The stuff that you can mine, basically. Uh, and obviously the higher the threat level the higher the better tier stuff that you can find and then you have the weather so here we get drizzle luminous rain storms and rain I'm not too sure what that actually means you get a little kind of debuff at the top that comes up saying that you're wet when you get rained on but so far i haven't actually noticed that that does anything like i'm not sure if it makes you hungry quicker or what i i'm i'm not i'm not sure uh so it says that we can go to moons now there isn't a moon here so i would like to kind of do that straight away now from what i've seen you need fuel if i zoom out these are all the stars you need fuel to jump from one star to another so for us to go to this star we would have to use fuel however to go from one planet in the solar system uh to another say to this one uh pleon swarm six we wouldn't actually need to use any fuel to get there. So that's actually really nice because it means that we don't have to worry too much about um, having fuel straight away. We can we can move around um, planets, uh, solar systems without too much worry. So we're going to bring down. For now, I would like to keep this base here. I know I said I wasn't going to, but while we're on the move all the time, food is a big worry. And we need somewhere that has like a nice grassy area to be able to actually make food so although we have a, quite a bit of food at the moment it's not really a good idea for us to just um, pack up and leave now we do need some of this stuff so we're going to grab this oh the little hedgehog oh no get back get back foul beast uh this one really do want as much um plant fiber as possible because we're going to need this to make woven fabric which we need to make flags no stop it oh look at them they're like all huddling in there like out of the rain stop it go <laughs> you guys Okay, so there is some, let's use one of these, seeing as they all decided they wanted to kick my butt. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of plant fibre in here. Probably not enough, but it's a start. Hello, thank you. There we go. So let me know if you guys have been playing this game. I know a few of you have said that um, you like the look of it or you want to play it. So let me know if you have been playing it. What have you guys been up to? What um, What is your favourite species to play? I recently um, made uh, an avian, one of the bird people, and they were so cute. I really, really liked them. Uh, I'm hopefully going to be playing some multiplayer uh, soon. I have been playing some. Um, a very kind member of the community, not my community, another community set up a uh, community server for everybody there so I've been playing on that which was really really fun and as you know I've been hoping to play some with Silent Lilac as soon as possible because we always have lots of fun playing with Lilac. I'm gonna just grab this stuff again while we're here. Oh pressing the wrong button. Come on give me that good good ore. So eventually um, I don't want to give too much away about the game but eventually we will get these um, we will be able to go to places where the kind of base ores are extremely abundant and we won't have to worry about going to planets to mine them. Things like gold, copper, silver. Um, because obviously at the moment those are what we're using predominantly. But, you know, as we get through the game, 
they're definitely going to become more like base materials and not um, not the ones that we need uh, lots of well no they're going to be ones that we need lots of um, so the game just kind of makes that grind a bit easier for you which is nice okay grab me those we did quite lucky with this cave here it's a lot of uh, plant fiber which is really actually really really awesome I thought we'd have to go um, kind of looking a bit more but no this is nice even gonna get the little straggly bits because uh, we need everything I'm not sure. I think it's four plant fibres to a woven cotton and we need 20 of them. So we're going to need probably quite a lot. Uh, we also obviously want plant fibre for salves. So if I stand here, I might be able to get some of this. No, it doesn't break till it hits the bottom. Uh, okay. Nothing there. Let's head back and see how much we can actually make. There we go. Oh, every time I fall in that puddle. I hate killing these guys because they're always so singing. They're, they always look so happy but um, they always try to kill me. Oh, this is going to flood. <laughs> oh no. And yeah. Oh no, this hole is flooding too. Uh oh, and down here. <laughs> I should have put a roof on this. Um, if you look up here in the top left, it does say that we are wet. And as I said, it doesn't, I don't think, I haven't noticed any kind of negative effects from being stood in the rain, but you never know, there might be. Um, I could really do with, like, digging a bit of a ditch down here for the water to go into. <laughs> Although it just seems to be getting higher and higher and worse and worse. In fact, if we put it into here, it can drain into this little pool. Because there is a pool down here. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So, oh, we can make 87. Wow. We got we got a lot of, uh, of woven fabric, which is nice. So we'll get exactly 20. What I try to do is always have a flag on me, just in case I find a cool village or something like that that would be nice to have actually bookmarked the teleporter rather than just being down and you have to find it again. I am able to reconfigure the ship's teleporter to teleport directly to the location marked by this flag. Place and interact with it to give it a name. Okie pokey. So, uh, so what this means is that even if we fly away from this planet, which we are going to do in a second, we'll call it starter base. Even if we fly away, we can use the teleporter in the ship and we will be teleported directly back to here. So we don't have to stay kind of floating around the ship to do anything. Um, hmm. I'm picking stuff up because I was going to put it on the ship. But I kind of maybe feel like I should leave it. Let's grab some potatoes and then we'll head on off to the other place. Uh, something that we do need actually is... What would be nice, I don't think we can make it yet, is, yeah, breathing EPP. So we need tungsten, which we can't get on this planet, and we need glass. Now, we are going to be able to get fuel without um, having breathing EPP. Obviously, there is no oxygen and no atmosphere on the moon, so we will start to die. However, we can beam up just before we die. Do a little bit of uh, cheat strats. So you just right-click to where you want to go. Left click to select the planet, right click to actually go there. And as you can see, it uses no fuel because we're in the same solar system. And this place has two moons. So if you look, it says this moon supports no life and it has no atmosphere. However, fuel is abundant here. Uh, so the threat is unknown. It has the fuel that we need, the crystals. It has luminous rain and small meteorites. So, and this one is exactly the same. So we'll right click on it, which means that we will go directly to it. There we go, moving our way into position. And then we can beam down. And when we beam down, you'll see that our health... Um, hang on, let's just quickly... <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm going to make an inventor's table and stick it in the ship. But I'm meaning to do that anyway. Make a few salves. There we go. And then we'll head down. I just want to make sure that we have full health before we go down. 
Another thing that would be nice on the ship is a bed. I think the tele... no. When we first got here we were asleep on here and I have a funny feeling that maybe this can be used as a bed but I'm not sure. It would be nice because then we wouldn't have to use all of our salves. So here we go. Now you've got to be careful on here. You've got no gravity. As you can see this is my breadth above my head and if you look to the left there is a little ghost icon debuff thing that appears. That's because we are spooked. Now there's something on this planet. There we go, here we go. I'm detecting entities attracted by the moon's deposits. Their interest in you will grow as you collect more fuel. So as we co collect more of these crystals off the planet... Ah, oh, we're dying! Um, these guys are going to try and come and get us. We're alright for a little second, even though that beeping is super annoying. We can get a few more. I'm watching our health. Grab that and beam out. <laughs> and this is where it would be nice if we had a bed, because we could do this quite a few times and just sleep to regain our health rather than having to use cells. However, we do have some fuel. So it's in this tab. We can pop that in there. And one fuel, one crystal equals two fuel in the ship. So we can fuel it. And as far as I know, to jump from where you are to the closest star is like 90 fuel. So we're going to need a bit more fuel. However, we are in a place that actually has quite a few different planets. So... If we view this and we head on over to this one, if you look on here, this threat level is moderate, the beam site is located in a forest, and the geological anal analyst, because it is analysis, sorry, analyst, uh, because it's moderate, we've got the base ones, iron, gold, copper and silver, but we also have tungsten, which is what we need. Uh, so I'm going to head on down there in the next episode and we'll see if we can find ourselves some tungsten if you guys have enjoyed this episode please like comment and subscribe to become a sparkle i hope you're having a fantastic day and i will see you next time bye